Grade 7 Math number 1.1b, adding integers with the same sign word problems. A football team loses 4 yards on one play and 6 yards on another play. Write a sum of negative integers to represent the loss of yards. So, they lost 4 yards in one play and 6 yards in another play. Now you notice that the word problem says to write a sum well, that's the answer in an addition problem, isn't it? It says to write a sum of negative n integers. So it's already telling us what to do. We need a plus sign, and we need to add up negative numbers. So if this is a loss of 4 yards and a loss of 6 yards, that means we're going to have a negative 4 added to a negative 6, and negative 4 plus negative 6 would be a negative 10. They lost 10 yards in the two plays. Did you see how we got that? Okay, let's try another one. Emma dropped her keys into a swimming pool by accident. They landed in the deep end of 10 feet. She dove down 7 feet, then 3 feet more to reach them. Write a sum of negative integers to represent her dive. So again, we need to write a sum. So that means it's going to be a plus, right? It's going to be a plus in the equation of negative integers. So that means we're going to have negative numbers that we're adding together to represent her dive. So she dove down 7 feet, then 3 feet. She dove down 7 feet, then 3 feet, and then she got to a negative 10, okay, because she's 10 feet below the water level. So if this water level is 0, then she's 1 feet, 2 feet, 3 feet, 4 feet. See, she's negative. So the keys were at negative 10. So if she dove down 7 and then 3, that gives us negative 7 plus a negative 3 equals a negative 10. She's 10 feet negative below the water level. See? Okay, let's try another one. Tala bought school supplies with her debit card. She had $98 in her bank account, and she spent $18 for pens, pencils, folders, and paper. She spent $22 for a new backpack and $16 for a scientific graphing calculator. Write a sum of negative integers to show Tala's bank account. Well, again, it says write a sum. So that means there's going to be a plus in the equation, isn't there? And it says of negative integers. So it's going to be negative numbers, again, that we're going to be adding together with a plus sign to show her bank account. Well, it says she spent 18 22 16 So that's money spent. That's negative coming out of her account. Okay? It's being deducted from her account. So she spent 18, 22, and 16. We put plus signs in between them. And we have to put parentheses here around these two integers because if we didn't, we'd have a plus next to a minus, and that would get really confusing, wouldn't it? If you saw that, that's confusing on the eyes. So we put these parentheses around it, and that separates that negative 22 from the plus sign so we can see we're adding a negative number. See? A little easier on the eyes, all right? So, we add these together just as if we're adding regular numbers. See? 18 plus 22 plus 16 as if we're just adding regular numbers like in fourth grade or third grade. We get 56, but this is the total of debits, and we write it as a negative number, okay? It's all the negatives added together. So how much is left in her bank account? Well, she had $98. We have a negative 56 that leaves 42. See? So that's how much she's got left. So that's adding integers with the same sign in word problems. Okay? I hope this was helpful, and I'll see you in the next topic. Bye.